The Champions League is upon us once again, everybody, and Europe's top stars will be fancying their chances of glory come May next year. Could this be the first season, though, we see a champion successfully defend their crown? Luis Enrique's Barcelona, of course, will fancy themselves to be the first ever side to win back-to-back European Champions Leagues. It is quite strange that we haven't seen this happen before, since the European Cup became the Champions League in 1992, and we have seen big sides dominate in Europe in that time as well. Milan, for example, reached three finals between 93 and 95, but only won one. That great Juventus side in the mid-90s who looked so imperious at times only won one of their three finals between 96 and 98. Manchester United were involved in back-to-back -back finals after beating Chelsea on penalties in 2008 but unfortunately for them they came against Barcelona under Pep Guardiola who of course beat them 2-0 and it was that Barcelona side under Pep Guardiola many thought would be the first side to retain the Champions League but of course they won it in 2009 and in 2011 but it was their nemesis Jose Mourinho who halted them in 2010 in the semi-finals. In a time when the big clubs have so much more in terms of personal riches than the smaller clubs. It's quite intriguing and also refreshing that we've had a different winner every year in the competition. What will it be like this time though? Well, the English clubs do look a little bit off the pace from Barcelona. And Manchester City, of course, have their traditional poor form in Europe to contend against. Juventus, last season's finalists, they're much poorer as well with the sales of certain key players. But Barcelona's main challenges will probably come from Bayern Munich and Real Madrid at this time round. However, with that front three fresh from winning the treble and a dynamic and flexible midfield, one would have to say that Barcelona really do have a chance of making history in this year's competition. However, we've said that a fair few times before.